morning guys from this beautiful island of Copangan again here in Thailand. What? Did he not on the beach? No, I'm in a very, very, very beautiful luxury villa. But I can show you only the villa at the end of this video. So keep watching till the end because then I will reveal to you who is living here and why I'm going to jump in this beautiful pool and spend some time over here. First, I'm going to show you the beautiful beach where I talk about the Bitcoin price, where I talk about Chinese miners moving the miners from the east to the west. And I'm going to talk about the future because I'm predicting this new, beautiful, decentralized, digital nomad life that you can live as well. And this villa is part of this life. Let's jump into the beach, guys. Haha, <laughs> you want to know where this pool was? If you want to know where this pool was, you need to watch till the end of the video, guys. Because first I will visit this beautiful beach where I talk to you about the news. And then I will show you at the end of the news, I need to share something with you. And then you will see the pool and what is behind this beautiful pool. Did I make you curious? That was exactly my intention. So keep watching the full episode till the end. And you will moon my retention in YouTube. Enjoy watching this episode. How high to high? No one knows how low is too low. Today, guys, I am visiting Hat Tian. I also call it Dolphin Bay. Um, it's a beautiful, small, really small beach near the Dolphin Bay Resort. Dolphin Bay Resort is an amazing place where you can spend amazing time uh, with a beautiful pool, uh, beautiful villas, sea view villas. Just check them out on booking.com. I will share the link below um, so you know which resort is next to this small but almost perfect beach. While I stroll the beach, guys, I talk to you about Bitcoin and all the other news and at the end guys yes i will share with you where this beautiful pool was and why you should go there as well and guys you might also ask yourself why is didi uh, wearing a backpack this will also be very clear at the end of the video then you will understand why i am wearing this thing and why i'll pack it with all that stuff but you guys want me to talk about the Bitcoin price, so that is what I'm going to do start with again. If we are talking about Bitcoin price, we are always talking about bears and bulls. The bears see a bearish perspective, they think Bitcoin will go down. The bulls see a bullish perspective, they think the Bitcoin price will go up. They not only think, they also want it to the prices to go down and up. Let's start with the negative part first. Let's start with the bears. The bears guys, they say, yeah, you try it again. The third time you try to break, 3500 we are seeing a triple top we are going to take you down guys we are going to take you down to like 9k and then 8k and then 7k there is even a bear that is saying okay guys now nah, i'm even more bearish we will go back to 5k which also is a little bit the long year trend line lisa expected if we would break down we could test this long this four year long trend line which is around 5k so it's not crazy that they think it, but um, for me, it's not just not what I expect at the moment. There is even one bear, he's saying, guys, huh, 5K, we will go back to 2K or 1K because 2020 will be a bad year. We will go back to 5 or 6K. 2021 will be even worse. I'm going to, we are going to break, break back down to 2K or 1K and 2022 will be the year of the huge bull run where people can multiply their investment by buying Bitcoin at 2k because Bitcoin in 2022 will go to like 30k 40k or 50k so this bear is so bearish he thinks we will go to 1k do I believe these situations no in my opinion we can always go down a little bit but like 5k 2k 1k this one is not in my thoughts why not because I'm also a true believer of the law of attraction which means but what you think of and what you visualize will happen. I am not going to visualize Bitcoin going to 2K. I am visualizing Bitcoin going up from here, ejecting, leaving Earth into the moon and then even further to Jupiter or Mars, whatever planet is further than the moon. Bulls on the other side, they are like, okay, bears, listen to me. We, yes, we tried to retest 10.5K and yes, we fell down. We had a 15% correction or something like this. But guys, we are still holding 9,500-ish and we are going to hold this level because we want Bitcoin to go up from this point. So we will hold 9,500. We will defend it with everything in our lives. And, and so you can try to push us down, but we will stand up and get up 
every time again. And that is what Bitcoin is showing at the moment. We are around 9,500, even 9,700, of course, which is a very positive thing because this is showing strength. Again, we fell down from 9,500, but yes, we held this beautiful support of 9,500. One second, because I'm climbing these rocks on my slippery flip-flops, so uh, I need to take it easy now and then. If you zoom out in Bitcoin, like I always say, then you see a complete different picture than the bears are expecting. Because if you zoom out, you look at this stock to flow chart that has been used many times in crypto, and you see a different outcome than the 2K the bears are expecting. You see an outcome of more than 100K in one and a half to two years. Why are we using, why are we even using this stock to flow chart? Because you guys, that, that's what they use for gold and silver. Exactly. At the moment, Bitcoin is often compared with gold or silver because Bitcoin appears to be a store of value and, and the past growth of Bitcoin has been in line with these stock to flow charts. So even as Bitcoin now is compared to gold and not seen as a peer-to-peer -peer digital cash used for micropayments, if you're a trader, you look at the past and the past is showing us that it's following this beautiful stock to flow model. And if we look at this stock to flow model, you can see these beautiful colors, guys, from yellow to green to light blue to dark blue into red and from red into this orange color, yellow again, and then back down again to this green. What does this mean? You only need to see two things. If you look at the red part of this beautiful stock to flow chart, look back, look to the left. Left is that side if you're watching, I think. Look to the left. If you see the left, you can see two times this red part. Every time you see this red part, Bitcoin took off. 2016, 17, Bitcoin took off. The year, the, the, the run before, same. When the red came, Bitcoin took off. And what did we see yesterday on this beautiful chart? We saw the red dot appearing. So we saw Bitcoin coming down, going into this green, going into this light blue we saw the dark blue period and now the first red dot appeared on the stock to flow chart if we will repeat what history has done then from this point onwards we will go upwards we will go into the next bull run and if we look at the periods the first period of the bull run took about from the first red dot till the top took about a year then the second period that was the last one in 2017 was from the red dot, red dot till the top was about one and a half year. And if we are looking at this one and it will take a little bit more longer again, then now maybe from the red dot to the top will take one and a half to two years. So that will bring us till the end of 2021 or the mid of 2022 when we will see the top of this bull run. So this red dot indicates a very bullish thing to me. Let's combine this with what Bloomberg just tweeted. Bloomberg is expecting Bitcoin even to reach 20K end of this year. So then again, we get this beautiful clickbait header, 20K in 2020. And if we take another beautiful guy that has a lot of knowledge in Bitcoin, maybe he is even Satoshi, Adam Beck. He is saying, guys, zoom a little bit more out. Bitcoin will be 300 Ks in the next five years. And that is what I tell you every day. If you just zoom out every day, zoom out of Bitcoin and just look at the bigger picture, then buying in these areas is a beautiful buy. And if you buy in these areas after you bought, put your Bitcoins on a hardware wallet, put them in the safe and don't stress about them the next couple of years because it's a long term investment. If you're not day trading, don't stress about the day charts. Don't stress about the hour charts. Don't stress about the minute charts. If you're an investor, you look at the monthly charts or the weekly charts maybe a little bit or the yearly charts. Top of the stock flow chart is telling us a minimum of 100,000, which will probably have a huge spike up to 150,000 US dollar per Bitcoin in one and a half to two years. Very bullish in my opinion. I need to keep this TA of the price and everything a little bit shorter today because I need to show you so much more beautiful things and more news and I want to show you why I'm wearing the backpack and why I just filmed the intro at a beautiful pool. So let's get down from this rock before I break a leg and I cannot show you this beautiful end of the video. Oh yeah, yeah, shit. There I almost went and broke my leg. 
<laughs> guys oh yeah do you see all these things all over the world people are stacking up these stones everywhere i go in the world indonesia australia even in the netherlands i saw it so if somebody knows why everybody starts to stack up these stones let me know we even have been stacking these stones in italy and in all the other countries and we don't know even why we stack the stones we always stack five stones because we are a family of five um, but i need to dig into why these people are always stacking stones all over the world now some different news guys did you see the news about these miners being arrested in china these miners were mining bitcoins in burial tombs so yes the tombs where people were buried they were using them to mine they got arrested just after last week's uh, group of people that got arrested because they were mining bitcoins below a dog kennel they had about like 55 miners up and running below a dog kennel um, and they got arrested as well these two arrests are both in China in the same region which is a pretty pretty strange because this region represents about 10% of the total Bitcoin mining capacity uh, all over the world so why is the Chinese police cracking down these Bitcoin miners because it's a huge business in that area of China we can slowly see the shift of the mining companies moving again from the east to the west I even read an article about this Marathon patent group company in the US that just installed 700 new miners in the facility and they are expecting about 1200 new end miners S19 to arrive in the next few weeks and they will have a total capacity of 189,000 petahash per second I think so this is a huge capacity and yes that is a, indeed showing us that the mining is slowly moving from the east to the west again and that's the beautiful part of proof of work you never know who will be the biggest miner because the competition is completely open everybody can join this beautiful mining game everybody can decentralize the bitcoin network a little bit more by having this ability to become the biggest miner i see this as a beautiful open economy where everybody has the same opportunities and chances of of becoming the next biggest miner this is a little bit different in my opinion in proof of stake because in proof of stake the biggest shareholder needs to sell his shares to let another shareholder become bigger so if I have 100 shares in a company and I am the biggest stakeholder with 80 shares, nobody can get more than these 80 shares till I sell these 80 shares. That's why I think proof of stake is a total different model than proof of work. But I will make a whole new episode about the difference between proof of work and proof of stake because it's a long technical story and I want to take my time for it and I don't want to make this video today too long. I want to end this video today guys. We're talking about the future. And the future is looking so awesome. Why? Because the future is going to be a decentralized digital nomad future. Yes, also for you guys, also for you. And why do I think this? Because more and more companies are starting to decentralize their business and to have employees working from their home or wherever they are on this beautiful earth. This is possible because now we have the technical tools to do so we have the blockchain which is an underlying technology for a lot of decentralized tools that are being developed we have cloud servers everywhere in the world it's not possible to work and to deploy a server somewhere at people at somebody's home so it's online in the cloud so that gives the ability to people to work from home and use this company cloud server together with all the other employees in a very fast way because the internet has evolved and we can work very fast at the moment we have decentralized platforms that are letting us to communicate with each other to have voice calls to have video calls to have conferences to work together on documents to do all this stuff together without being physically together this is creating this decentralized revolution of companies that will minimize their cost of huge buildings and huge you know cost of maintaining these buildings and letting people be happy at their homes and work very efficient as teams check binance for example i think binance has more than 1500 employees in 50 different countries all working from home they are all connected and binance is a company that needs to pay attention to safety a lot because they are handling people's 
identities, but they are also handling people's money. So if they can do it, this company that holds all this data, which is very important that they don't lose it, if they can work with all these people all over the world in cloud servers and then any other company that ha doesn't even have to protect this very important data of their clients can do it as well. So I see this future going into this decentralized digital nomad future where more and more people start to realize that living a life without owning a huge house that will tie you to your country is also an, op an option. Because yes, you can live. Because yes, you can live for less monthly costs in more beautiful houses all over the world and do your job every day while you also enjoy you know this adventurous life that satisfies your need for adventure your need for exploring new things your need for connection to different people in the world to taste different food in the world to do all these things while you still live a beautiful life in beautiful houses and have a job companies like Binance Google Twitter they are all making this possible now for you guys so if you want to do this, it is the perfect moment to minimize your cost by selling your house, selling all your property, selling everything you have, take it, invest a huge part of this in Bitcoin and wait for this bull run. And while you're doing this, you travel the world. First six months, you don't do a job. You relax first. You de-stress from the world that you have been living in. And then you start to search this online job or become an online entrepreneur or a freelancer. And you live in these places of which one of these beautiful places I am going to show you now. You will really enjoy this house because this is a house owned by a Bitcoin guy that did really good in Bitcoin and now is creating these beautiful blockchain startups all over the world and one of the startups I am involved in and today I have the pleasure to show you this beautiful Bitcoin lifestyle you can have as well for less of the cost of the rent of an apartment in Amsterdam, Chicago, LA or any other big city. If you calculate that these apartments all over the world cost two and a half thousand to three thousand US dollar per month I'm going to show you what you can rent for the same or even cheaper here in Thailand and in many other countries all over the world. You are going to enjoy it. I just entered the villa. I will go downwards. You will see the house appearing in the back of me. And at the end, guys, yes, I am going to jump in this amazing infinity pool. I see now, you can't see it yet, but you will see it if you keep watching this video. It's a beautiful house, four bedroom villa with a huge staircase in the middle. So it's two bedrooms on the right, two bedrooms on the left. And um, it's of course, top of the build bedrooms, the beautiful bathrooms, the beautiful even whirlpools, showers, all that stuff. And um, I hope you can see it a little bit on the background. And then when you leave this stairway from your bedroom downwards, normally it's better to walk it upwards because you always climb the stairway to heaven. And of course the heaven, I'm referring to your bedroom where all the magic happens with your wife. So it's a better way to climb it up at the end of the day and you know, go to this heavenly place in your bedroom. But now I'm walking downwards. So I'm not walking to hell. I'm walking even to a more beautiful place of this villa. I am going to show you guys. It's such an amazing place. I will even introduce you to the owner because he's an amazing guy. So this is the villa. And if you look at this side, this beautiful, small evening chill room where you can sit, hang out, have a drink, have a cocktail, have a healthy mocktail, whatever you prefer. You can drink it here while you enjoy these beautiful views across the palm trees into the sea. The villa also has a beautiful living room. Yes, all the doors can open. You, it can be an open living room as well. It is closed now because they do a lot of media recordings here and all these media recordings. It's beautiful to have some aircon and you know, it's just a perfect climate to work. Maybe you now know who the, the owner of the villa is because if you have watched his YouTube videos, you exactly know who it is because this dog it's a YouTube star. I will show you the kitchen at the end. But first guys, I am going to jump in this amazing pool just as a thank for all you guys following me and watching my videos every single day again. I'm going to try, uh, try and make a salto 
into this beautiful pool with a view to this beautiful other island on the upper side. I think it's Koh Tao or Koh Samui. I don't even know. I don't even care. It's just amazing to be here. Woo! Haha! <laughs> I did it! I don't think it was a perfect salto, but it was kind of perfect salto. I need to move 90 kilos, which is not easy, of course. But did you see this jump? Even the dog came outside to watch it. Oh my God, I am excited because I admire the guy who is living here. I admire the project he's working on. But first, I will make 20 more laps because, you know, I need to lose some weight, man. Because else, I get even tired of making a salto in this beautiful infinity pool here in Copenhagen. Digital Bitcoin life till the end, guys. This is what everybody can have. This is how everybody can live instead of your crappy apartment of 3k a month in Paris, Amsterdam, New York, LA or wherever else on the world. You could also be living here. How beautiful. And I will make another salto because I think Bitcoin is going to go above 10,500 very soon. I need to remember next time to keep my nose because now my whole nose is full with this chloroquine but I read something about chloroquine helping me against COVID or was it something else, something else again? <laughs> and guys, like I promised you, I will introduce Lee very shortly because he's working very hard to the owner of this house, to the one of these Bitcoin digital nomads that understood the concept of a free life, of a free living all over the world where he wants to and at the same time build amazing projects that will really change this world. And this is you. <laughs> you guys know me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course they know you. <laughs> What's going on guys? So yeah, of course you already knew. It is Kyle Chasse. I need to say Kyle because if I say Kyle, people think I say Carl. A Carl is somebody else. So my English is bad, but the house belongs to Kyle Chasse. Bitcoin OG, already for a long time, many projects in this space. Do check his YouTube channel as well. I will share it below the video. And if you want to become part of the house of Dao, he is the guy you need to t speak to. He can give you access to this beautiful life if you just participate in the House of Dao. And this House of Dao participation will make sure we will change this world together because that is what we need to do. Stand together. Guys, this was everything for today. Please remember, always zoom out in crypto, zoom in in life, enjoy life to the fullest every single minute of the day. Even when you're 42, you make altos into a pool because it makes you feel like a kid. And that is what makes life worth living. See you tomorrow again. And please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share it with all your family and friends and hit this bell button so you will be notified on every new salto I make on all places all over the world. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow guys. Bye.